I'd like to do my current favourites. The first two things I want to mention are books and I'm going to blog about both of these and one of them I finished a little while ago called 100,000 Years of Beauty and it's by L'Oreal. A huge like Encyclopedia Britannica of well, it's not even just beauty, it's civilization. Anyone would love it, but especially if you're really interested in trends and beauty trends, the endless pursuit of human nature to strive for beauty and how it's been interpreted through the centuries. Absolute ultimate coffee table book, Link to Treasure. It's a beautiful gift to give anyone who's like us, really interested in beauty, but it's more than that, it's very educational, very well written by professors. It is quite expensive, but it's worth it, I think. The other book is a beauty makeup book, and it's by Mud Makeup Designery, who also do videos here on YouTube, which are really good, so I'll link to their channel below. Absolutely, really, just find it so useful. It's deceptively simple. I just love the way it's written. It's actually quite humorous and very educational. It's really academically written as well with diagrams. This is how you interpret shading. They literally describe how to, how to shade in wrinkles, how to shade in noses, how to make small lips bigger and small eyes, Asian eyes, anything and everything. Really good um, information there about how to apply foundation. really like this because it's very direct and it says strong bridge, which I think is what I've got the nose, which is like that. Quite crooked. Um, it says Strong bridge, no amount of shadow or concealer can disguise the fact that there is a bump on the nose. So, you know, it's not giving you a false promise, but it does tell you how to arrange it. Got a triangular nose, the crooked nose, flat nose, bulbous nose, irregular nose shadow, shadowed nose bridge, narrow nose. That's it for noses. And then it's got the same level of depth for nose to mouth lines and um, a jowly jaw, how to apply blusher. It's also got a really, really fascinating um, whole chapter on eyebrows and the way that different eyebrow shapes can literally change your whole emotional expression. And it's literally got diagrams on how to shape the eyebrows to correct them. A load of mouths, how to correct them. Really, really a must-have book. I found this actually via iMaths. When I went to Louise Young's demonstration class, it was packed full of really qualified makeup artists and the atmosphere was one of fervent learning. And she just mentioned in passing that she uses this on pale skins and that's her favourite contour product. And it's by Cryolan, and Cryolan cream products, just all of the ones I've used, their lipsticks and now this, such high quality, it's about 10 pounds, and you get 30 gram of product, and it's a very grey toned, taupey shade. It's really, really good. It's called AL, and it's the Cryolan TV paint stick, and I've swatched it. It's really effective and I've actually tried to contour my nose with it and now I just don't miss that step. Next thing which I really love is from the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess collection and I'm going to be honest I was a bit disappointed with this year's Bronze Goddess um, because the powder which I did actually get is very 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 powdery and I just don't like blushes and bronzers which just sit on the skin although the colours themselves were absolutely just fantastic especially for pale skin especially the bronze sand shade I just didn't care for the texture so I didn't like that um, the perfumes there's bronze goddess which of course is always a bestseller that smells like um, oily suntanned bodies just lazing out at the beach it's got coconut and um, very strong suntan smell about it, which personally isn't my style, but I can see why people love it. There's also a new one, which is called Bronze Goddess Soleil, 
and I did try that and I really liked it but I found it quite generic. It's got a sort of wheat grassy smell about it. It's very nice and very much my style but as a skin scent, which both of them are, they don't last that long on your skin. It lasted about three hours on my skin. I didn't even notice it when I saw the promotional images. But when I went to check this out in person, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And I've just swatched that as well. Pink shade here and a teal shade here. And the pink shade is just so beautiful. It's a really soft, frosted pink, which you can use on lips or on eyes. It looks good on both. And this is a teal, like teal pigment by MAC, really. And these last really well on your eyes. They're waterproof and I just think they're brilliant. And this is Young Blood Liquid Mineral Foundation. I don't really get on with powder foundations. I'm going to try and experiment with brushes, but for the moment, I find them quite heavy and time consuming. But I like the idea of using something light and something which is healthy for your skin. So I was really keen to try this. And this is in Pebble, which is the palest shade. It's not quite my shade, There's something off about it, but um, when I put my powder on top and blusher, it's fine. The packaging is really elegant. It's a pump and it's got this inner cylinder. And as you pump it, the cylinder rises. And then at the end, you unscrew this top and get the last dregs. It's just as well because this is really expensive. Even though this is called Deep Sea Hydrating Complex, I find that the salts in it actually dry out my skin, which is a good thing because I've got greasy skin. So once I powder on top of this, it lasts all day long, so really good. And also, because it's got so much water in it, you just put one pump and it tends to spread out really nicely. And I would say this is light to medium coverage. I'm wearing it now. I think it looks really imperceptible, really natural, and does even you out, so really beautiful product. I was really sceptical of primers for ages, but I've really come to rely on this. And it's Bare Essentials Prime Time Brightening. I have done a full review on this primer. And um, it's got a colour to it, but when you spread it out, it goes invisible. And it really does not only brighten my skin, but it tends to keep my oily areas a bit matter and the uh, sort of normal areas a bit more glowing. So it's really good, it seems to make my skin look better, but more to the point, it really does mean that I use less foundation and the foundation just goes on a lot more um, full coverage than it would without it, so really like that. I got this in a swap, so I don't know if you can get this in the UK, but it's by Rock and Republic and it's called Foreplay and you get 9 grams, which is quite a lot. I'm not sure I really like this casing, it's a bit... Um, over the top but this is the shade and it's a really really natural sort of burnt apricot it just really melts into the skin so I'm wearing it now and it's called Naked Liner it's a re-promote and it came with a quite cute collection I actually ordered this online and then doing a promotion you get all these really cute badges if you get anything from the quite cute collection so those are really nice that's my favourite thing in the order actually I thought it would be like a Paula Dorf goddess lip liner, which I really like, but instead it's a very, very nude colour. In fact, it's just like MAC Myth, but in pencil form. If I use this as a base on my lips, it makes light coloured lipsticks last a lot longer, and also it blanks out my lips if I want a colour to look truer. And this is e.l.f. Myth Dupe which is called Natural Nymph and I really like it. It's just like Myth but I find the texture is better because you can wear it sheer. I'm wearing that right now just with a lip gloss on top. This is called Saffron. It's a re I believe. I was hoping this would be just like my Louise Young eyeshadow, the one at the end, which I use all the time and love it so much. I'm dreading when it runs out. But I've done some swatches here comparing them and I think the Louise Yang is a million times better texture and also the colour is a lot more easy to wear. So I'll just quickly show you. This is the Louise Yang one and this is Mac Saffron. And I've got this which is definitely a favourite. 
It's the L'Oreal new eyeshadow which I reviewed quite recently and it's called Pebble Grey and the thing I love about this grey is that it's a true grey. It's not a blue toned grey and it's on my eyes crease. It just applies really well, you don't need much, really pigmented, I've already reviewed this but definitely love that and love the packaging. It's on for over a week so my nails have gone really ugly, I'm sorry about that. It's by Estee Lauder and it's called Sizzling Taupe. It is limited edition so it's probably sold out most counters, I had trouble finding mine. Almost duochrome shade and as I say it lasts really well so I'm really enjoying that. I'd like to talk about hair products. I was on the Schwarzkopf website recently and they mentioned that greasy hair can actually benefit from hairspray. This is actually a clinical one and it's called Look At Me Delicious Boosting Hairspray and I really like it. Quite firm hold and it's a really nice smell. It looks really good on my counter and I really like that. But it does seem to soak up grease and it doesn't leave my hair feeling very stiff and loaded up. Now the next thing I have to say related to really greasy hair by Ojon and I've tried loads of dry shampoos, I've tried obviously Batiste and I've tried Charles Worthington results which smell really bad and um, all of them smell quite bad, this is no exception. But this one seems to work really well and it's called Rub Out Dry Cleanser. It seems to really puff up my hair when it's all lank and horrible. So I really like that and obviously it's a spray and um, it's got 185 milliliters, so hopefully it should last really good. You just lift up the root and I just usually have to spray it everywhere but it really does work. And these two I absolutely adore, these are my favourite new hair products for such a long time. This is Dust It 24 Hour. Now Dust It has already got a huge cult following. But this is a 24 hour version and um, the packaging and the packaging has slightly changed. I don't know if you can really see that. But it says 24 hour volume effect. And this is really good. I applied it earlier today and it really has lasted quite well. And just as I said, like seasoning chips or something, you literally just shake it on your head. And I've actually got it on from earlier and the beauty of it is you can just put it in and then hours later you can like reactivate it. You can obviously load up even more and get quite significant volume. You only need a tiny bit and it really works and you can just load this on again and again. Both of these products, this one is Shine Duster. Really lightweight so if you're like me and you've got greasy hair, the more products you use the more just weighed down your hair gets and then you have to instantly wash it. This is the most brilliant product. It's like a glittery powder and you pour it out and it looks like a powder but then you rub it in and it becomes a serum and as far as I can tell it's like a shimmery serum. So rather than add shine by adding a greasy gloss which is going to coat your hair and make it all limp and awful by the end of the day. This physically adds a kind of glittery gloss to your hair. I really like it. It's a godsend if you've got, you know, quite greasy hair but you do want texture and you do want shine. This is Schwarzkopf Seiya, I think it's called. And it's in Japanese Cherry Blossom Wrap Conditioning Lotion for Coloured Hair very nice pump which actually allows you to pump out really small pumps if you want so you can really control the pump. It's got a very delicate smell but undeniably salon smelling made my blow dry so easy. This just makes hair so tame and so easy to comb through and it's only $13.95. When I saw the packaging I was a bit nervous that it might be something like Alterna, like a £30 item but it's brilliant really brilliant. My favourite product of the month actually, just the best thing ever. When I first got this I was a bit unsure, I thought there was a bit too much hype going on but I've got the pro version, this is the Clarisonic Pro and this is the body brush and I have to say the body brush is my favourite part of it, it just 
makes my skin feel so smooth and I've really noticed a difference, so I really like that. The normal brush head as well as the sensitive which it came with, I think I prefer the sensitive, but anyway I think I might do a review on this if anyone's interested more in depth, but um, I just have noticed the, the clarity of my skin, the even tone of it, it's just really helped with that. I use it and love this which is Murat Essential C and this is the size which came free in, in Style Magazine which I recently blogged about. The Clarisonic just works so well, so love that. Any questions just um, ask away and thank you very much for watching.